Hey everybody, Kratos Lucina here. Today we're driving the WZ120, or like, uh, I guess, 1224. WZ1224. And this, uh, developed in the 1970s, this was meant to be a replacement for the Chinese Type 59, which is a replacement, or which is a Chinese edition and almost a direct copy of the Soviet T-55. And with, you know, the whole world starting into their next-gen tanks, China wanted one too. And so they began focusing on a, kind of a rather substantial tech package. And what they got was this tank that had a lot of innovative tech for its day. It, it had an auto loader. It was a welded turret. Oh. Oh, man. Swing and a miss on that one. Uh, welded turret. A fancy engine. New drive system. A, a lot of bells and whistles went into this one. And... I don't know what happened to that missile. Technically, it hit me. <laughs> uh, you know, new engine, new drive system, uh, refreshed gun, you know, the works. And... Holy moly. What they got, though, like, it was too complicated. There was too much going on with this particular vehicle. <sighs> what, what did I even hit over there? I feel like I didn't hit anything. Oh, come on! Like, every time I fire, the thing... Whatever I'm shooting at explodes right before my shell hits. Yeah, got him. <laughs> There's a VBL over there sneaking in on people. Oh, I can't hit it. It's behind a rock. Um, the hyper-complicated gun was a huge part of the issue of um, this tank being adopted. The autoloader system, along with its uh, associated gun, were, were really new and very complex. And the amount of money they would have to spend trying to build this thing was not worth their time. Or, you know, it was not worth China's time and money. And so China let it go. You know, they canceled development. But phases of th the development of the WZ did move forward in other vehicles. Uh... Holy crap. Really? We're doing this? Man. Like, everything's hitting me. Uh, the gun... Uh, was used in the uh, the PTZ. Uh, what was that thing called? Uh, it's the Chinese tank destroyer. 
uh, the gun became part of that program. There we go. There's my five. <laughs> or oh, who's the doofus popping smoke on the point? All right. Wow, that was fast. Five minutes. Okay. So a lot of technology moved forward in, from this, uh, from the WZ. Uh, future generation generations of the Chinese tanks had a similar turret design. You know, a welded with a lot of facets. Uh, the gun saw use in the Chinese tank destroyer. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. PTZ something. Uh, the drivetrain got used on a lot of tanks separately. But together, it was just too expensive to have in one vehicle. And I mean, in this game, it actually did really well. Uh, this turned into a very short mission for some reason. Normally, we have to fight like three times as many tanks, but I don't know what happened. We fought half as many. But, uh, all in all, did a great job. Uh, seems to have okay defense. It might be a little, so uh, a little soft and squishy against missiles. But, it's not bad. The gun is very powerful. And the auto loading system, you know, in real life, very expensive, but would make sense for a vehicle like a tank destroyer where you just kind of park it and then fire and fire and fire and fire and fire and you just try to keep an area clear or make an area clear of enemy tanks. Well, with my five kills and 4,600 damage, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, particular battle if you did please like and subscribe huge thank you to those that already have comment down below if you'd like to see a tank in battle and I will see you guys in the next mission until then have fun